Welcome to the Day Optimizer tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a commitment list. But first, why build a commitment list? Have you ever looked at your master task list and been completely overwhelmed by how many items are on it? And you start thrashing, jumping between item and item? Or perhaps you find an item to focus on, you do it, you finish it, and then you go back to your master task list and you get distracted by all these other lower priority items rather than working on what you really should be working on. A commitment list helps fix this problem. What we do is we take everything from that master task list and put it on a single daily commitment list which only contains what we plan to work on today. This lets us avoid the overwhelm from looking at our master task list and avoid the distraction from looking at things that we really shouldn't be working on today. So how do we build a commitment list in Day Optimizer? From the today screen, you'll see how do you want to plan your day. We're going to go to commitment list and click on start planning. Now a commitment list is the simplest of all plans in Day Optimizer. It only has one step. In this step on the left hand side are the options for today and the right hand side are what you've decided to do, your commitments. What we do is we're going to move items from the left hand side to the right hand side. Now our options are divided into four different groups, unfinished tasks, appointments, uh, activities, and tasks. I won't go into unfinished tasks right now. If you're interested about that, watch the video on task flow and how done today versus done forever works. For now, let's jump over to appointments. Appointments are traditionally synced from your calendar or you can add them manually. Often when you sync from a calendar, you'll have appointments there that are not necessarily things that you plan to do today. They might be optional appointments. They might be appointments from someone else's calendar you just need to be aware of. So we need to just focus on and add the things we actually plan to do. So I'm going to go to my annual checkup, but I'm not going to do this optional webinar. Next are activities. Activities are things that we do in our day that take up time that are never done. So think of things like meals, habits, as well as time blocks. So a time block could be something where I keep the actual task list in another system, in the case of email that's in my inbox, or maybe for my client work I'm working within Asana. I don't have to manage all those tasks in Day Optimizer. I'm just using Day Optimizer to block out the time to work on that type of task. So in this case, I'm going to work on processing emails in the morning and afternoon, and then I'm going to do some client work. And we'll do three sessions of client work. But I also need to exercise today, take my vitamins, eat lunch, and also do my morning routine. Finally, we have the tasks, and this is your master task list, things that you haven't yet even started. So I'm going to actually install Day Optimizer on my phone today. Now I've got a commitment list on the right-hand side. There's one last step, which is to review it and see is there anything am I missing. Oh yeah, I need to update the website. So I come here, I say update website, I hit enter, and now it gets added to the bottom of that list. Once I'm certain I've captured everything I need to do today and only the things I need to do today, I click done and I'm brought to the commitment list dashboard. For more information on how to use a commitment list dashboard throughout your day, please watch the video using the commitment list.